that we should be careful about a short-term push to the downside. You know, we're looking at a lot of the other charts, US Swiss, US dollar, Japanese yen, and we're seeing indications that they could also uh, start dropping as well. How's it going, fellow traders? Magic Trader here. And this is your CFTC report analysis for the data that was reported on June 28, 2022. Welcome back uh, for another episode. We're going to take a look at the positions held by the big institutions. Here's a snapshot of what those positions look like. And as we always begin with gold, let's start off by taking a look at what positions the institutions have been holding on gold. So um, similar situation we've talked about numerous times. We can see that the institutions have been uh, removing their long positions from their portfolios. Okay, they were aggressively long with 338,000 back in April. And uh, that was, you know, just after the, uh, the war between Russia and Ukraine. And we see a decrease in their positions ever since. So they basically used the news about the war to uh, help offload those long positions that they accumulated. And so uh, over the last few weeks, what do we see? We see them slowly accumulating a short position. 95,000, 111, 104, now back to 111. And this is happening as price is now slowly declining. Now, we've been watching this one for quite some time. We do suspect that over time price is going to drop, okay? Uh, but we are waiting for that to happen. Like I said, it's taking its time but we are uh, watching for that because eventually what we believe is that this area here will be removed 1700s and potentially even lower down to the 1500s so we are watching very closely to see if that is what is going to take place okay let's go with oil what do we see with oil so we've been seeing that over the last uh, many months, they've been slowly uh, closing off their long positions as well. We have price in a major range here on the weekly chart. And so as price is ranging, they are reducing their long exposure all the way down now to 396,000, which is pretty low compared to how things have been since the beginning of the year. You just have to look at the numbers here and you can see for yourself that since the beginning of the year, this has been the lowest amount of long positions they've ever held. Now, we were looking here um, during this uh, ranging period on the weekly chart. We've been watching this and we had an alert set on our charts. And we said that if price closed below it, there was a very good chance that over the longer period of time, price was going to decline. But something else happened this past week, okay, that is now indicating to us that the road has been cleared should we say for a move higher now i am not saying that price is going to move higher from where it's at what i'm saying is that the road has been moved or cleared uh, ready for a future move higher all right so this is something that we should be watchful of now, with that being said, I'll mention something else. I posted this in the live general chat feed on our school website that um, there's evidence indicating institutions trade a large block of the United States uh, oil ETF USO over a dark pool exchange. Okay. And so uh, institutions trade 111,000 shares of USO at 8116 and they added more and added more. All right. So this is a slight indication to me that we could see uh, a push up on a USO, okay? So again, we'll be watching this one very closely because on the weekly chart, price is stuck in a range. It could move higher, but we're being very careful, okay? We don't want to assume that it's going to go higher from where price is at right at this moment because we could see a decline first, could go lower, before the bigger move to the upside, all right? It's a possibility. That's why we're watching. We're gonna be watching this uh, weekly range here and we'll see how it plays out from there. 
Okay. All right. Next, we've got the U.S. dollar. And as we've seen lately, the U.S. dollar has been stronger than the uh, majority of the other uh, currencies, which is why we're getting a move to the upside. And we can see that the U.S. dollar has been bought up. Okay. You can see long positions being increased. 53, 54, 55. They reduced them right before ex expirations, and then they've been increasing them again back up to 54. And if you take a look at shorts, yes, over the last few weeks, they've also been increasing their uh, short exposure. And this is something that we uh, made mentioned with the uh, with the students, that we should be careful about a, a short-term push to the downside because um, you know we're looking at a lot of the other charts, US Swiss, US dollar, Japanese yen, and we're seeing indications that they could also uh, start dropping as well, okay? Uh, it's safe to say, just by looking at how uh, retail traders are situated with the Euro, uh, it's safe to say that they're mostly short uh, the dollar index right now. So this is something to uh, be aware of. Uh, Aussie US dollar, not much to see here. You know, we see still a little bit of weakness on the charts and we can see that price has been declining uh, over the last few weeks. Shorts have been the main uh, focus for the institutions when it comes to the Aussie. And that's why we have uh, seen this weird sporadic price action here. But overall, um, price is very heavy and that's why we're seeing a uh, push to the downside okay uh, the interesting thing that i will also point out is uh, retail traders are mostly long okay they're mostly long as price is dropping it's actually a very good sign for price to continue lower the fact that retail traders are mostly long all right but this is not a chart that i would want to trade because there's no strong direction it's not like the institutions are piling into short positions right now uh, we have institutional demand lower uh, on the charts here on the monthly chart. That's where my monthly target is at 66.78. So I don't want to get involved in, in this chart. So I'm just watching it for now. Uh, US CAD. Here's another one that is, uh, you know, very unpredictable. If we take a look at long and short exposure, long is 44, short is 56. Not much to see there. They're a little bit more short than they are long, uh, but... Price has been rallying upwards, mostly because of the strength of the uh, U.S. dollar and a little bit of the weakness of the uh, uh, of oil over the last uh, couple of weeks with uh, some weakness in the oil coming into play. But this one's going to be highly unpredictable again because of what we are talking about with what could happen with oil. We know that the, the Canadian dollar is very much tied in with the price of oil. So if you don't know exactly what's going to happen with oil, you're not going to really know what's going to happen with this one. we got major institutional supply that's in play right now. So that is keeping price down as well. So could we get a slight uh, drop to the downside? Yeah, that's possible. All right. When we look at what uh, retail traders are, they are mostly short, right? As price was rallying up. So, um, you know, they could also uh, cause price to go up a little bit higher forcing uh, retail traders out of their uh, short positions, and then they can uh, drop it down. But overall, I think uh, there's a bigger chance that we see push a uh, push up because of the strong dollar than anything else on the chart, if I had to lean towards a certain bias. Okay, uh, US Swiss. Uh, this one dropped from institutional supply, as we can see from this area here. It dropped, rallied up dropped again and uh what's going on with their positions you know long positions are cooled off right they use contract expirations to close off their uh, long positions reducing them from 18,000 to 11. now they just recently bumped them up to 13 but that's nothing nothing special there okay shorts are very cooled off as well uh retail traders they don't know which way to go but right now they're slightly biased to the bullish side and so um I'm watching this one. We have institu institutional supply in play. So that is why I kind of have a, a short bias on, on this one and with the dollar, uh, because this is a very strong institutional uh, supply area. So I'd suspect that you're probably going to get some movement to the downside. 
Uh, Euro. Look at the Euro. Okay. Look at the positions. I want you to focus here. Contract expirations came. They closed off a significant portion of their long positions, reducing them from 230 to 206, to 195, to 189. This is pretty much the lowest their position has been in how long? Let's take a look here. Since December last year, this is their lowest amount of long positions. Okay, that's pretty significant. Since December last year, the lowest amount of long positions. And last time they were that low, what happened with price? Price continued lower like this. Okay, so now they're very low in long positions. Does that mean that it's going to turn over? Well, it's interesting how they are accumulating short positions here, right? Kind of what we saw here. A little bit, 201 to 206, here 213 to 11, 200. So there's a good chance that, you know, the longer term bias is to the downside. That's what, how I see things. But right now, you know, we're, st we're stuck in a major range here on the monthly chart. And until this range breaks, there's really no strong direction to take any trades off of. So I would not be trading this one as it stands. Uh, most traders are in long this pair, which I would not want to be caught uh, right now being mostly long. We we see that there's a slight bearish bias when it when you look at the net positions. But again, because there's no strong uh, structures to the upside, I wouldn't want to be caught long on this pair. So we'll continue to monitor this one as it goes forward. Pound. Um, so we still got that range there. We take a look at their positions. And we see that they've been closing off some of their short positions, okay, for profit taking. Nice area to take profits on short positions, right at the lows. And we see a slight increase in long positions from 28 to 35,000. Not much, but it's slightly there. Uh, another thing I'll make mention of is the fact that they have now removed this weekly area of supply. So why are they removing supply or demand, I should say? Why are they removing demand? Are they thinking about pushing price to the downside? that's possible but there's no strong momentum here to dictate that price is going to move in that direction over the short or even medium term all right so uh when we look at what retail traders are doing they're mostly long right now down here at these lows which is which is not the best idea same thing with the euro there's no structures being built to the upside so i don't know why retail traders are even uh, considering going long at this stage US dollar, Japanese yen. So this one made a significant move to the upside as we could all see. Look at long and short exposure, okay? They're colored blue, meaning it's very neutral. Their positions are very neutral based on how they were just recently. They were very bullish. We've made a very significant move to the upside and now it's very neutral, all right? So now it's not a really uh, strong moment for this currency. It could start to rally. It's not likely from this area that it's going to start to rally. And this is one of the other factors that I was mentioning why I believe that there's a good chance that we might see a drop in the US dollar, okay? If we look at what retail traders are doing, they're mostly short, but they've been adding short positions for quite some time, right? They're very over leveraged at this point. So they're praying that price is gonna drop. So could there be a little flick to the upside just to shake them out? Yes, that's possible. But the key thing here is that we see them taking profits on their long positions. That's why we're seeing a reduction in long positions. 116, 109, 110, 102. Contract expirations come in. 94, 89. That's a significant drop. That's a significant drop here, what we're seeing. All right. So that's profit taking on long positions. So um, what's going to happen short term? Hard to say. But I wouldn't want to be long US dollar, Japanese yen at this point. Another thing I'll point out is that we have these trend lines here. Look how far away prices from the trend line. Trend line here, look how far away prices from the trend line. At some point, this is going to uh, pull down. And the fact that they're or overextended off of that trend line and we're seeing the banks taking profits on long positions is kind of an indication to me that number one, I wouldn't want to be buying. And number two, we could see more a, of a drop in the near future. Okay, last but not least, Kiwi. What do we see? Not much here. Longs are cooled off. Shorts, they've been taking profits on short positions. What do we see? A drive to the downside. 
We look at long exposure, short exposure. Long is 41%, short is 59%. They used to be 75% short exposure. So they've been reducing that. So we're not seeing anything clear here on the chart. It's like the Aussie. And plus we have an institutional area of buying coming into play right now. So this is kind of also making me think that we're going to see a rally in the Euro, Pound, Kiwi, Aussie, at those pairs and a drop in the dollar pairs okay possible uh another thing is that the the kiwi most retail traders are long right now but they've been long throughout this whole drop to the downside so that could change in the in the next uh few days or or a week or two so um that's what i'd be watching for on this chart okay hope you liked it like and subscribe you know the deal Make sure you set on the notifications. Uh, that way you can get notified every single time we do a video. Every week we do them. And um, make sure you check out the videos that we, do, that we do during the week as well because we have a lot of institutional insight. What the banks are doing with price, the formations, the trends, all that stuff. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more information, www.whiteoakfx.com. Thanks. Have yourself a good one. Take care.